you finally got your new trombone. You may even be playing notes in first position, but before we change positions, you need to learn how to grease your slide. First though, let's talk about the different parts of the slide, so when I mention something, you know what I'm talking about. The outer slide is the slide that has the spit valve on it. This is the part that moves around when the whole trombone is together. The other section is called the inner slide. This is the part that we're going to put the slide grease on. The final part of the slide we need to talk about is called the stocking. The stocking is the section from the little line to the end of the slide. Stocking really means sock, so you can kind of think of it like the sock of the trombone. Now we know what everything is, carefully undo your slide, put the outer slide either on the ground or inside of your case so it doesn't get damaged, and take a soft cloth and carefully wipe off your inner slide to get any gunk or old slide grease off of it. Don't put too much pressure in your hand, just let the slide go through the cloth and get all of that stuff off. Now let's talk about what to put on your slide. There are a bunch of options to choose from, like slide oils, creams, and sprays. For my students, I recommend Trombotine Slide Cream. It's less than $10 and can be found easily online or most music stores. It's real durable and doesn't need to be reapplied as often as some of the other products. As long as you don't lose it or put a hole in the packaging, one tube should last you for years. For my personal instrument and for professional level playing, I would recommend a different, higher level product. But for my students and their parents who are looking for value and durability, this is definitely what I recommend. What I wouldn't recommend using, though, is the side cream sample that comes included in most new instruments. Usually the cloths are nice, but there's a reason why they're giving the slide cream for free. I tell my students to just throw away the slide cream when they get their instrument, because I don't want them to use it. And besides, trombotine is under 10 bucks. One big problem most people have when using slide cream is they use way too much. I recommend using just enough to cover the tip of your finger, about this much. Now split the drop of slide cream between the inner slides on the stocking section of the slide. One big mistake a lot of people make is putting the cream on the entire slide. If your slide is working correctly, meaning it doesn't have any dents or a bent slide, the outer slide is really only touching the very slightly wider stocking section of the inner slide as it's moving. Putting slide cream on the rest of the inner slide isn't going to hurt your instrument, but it really is a waste and it might possibly make it slower. Make sure you get the excess slide cream off the slide. The final product that you're looking for shouldn't be clear and shouldn't be white, but more of a cloudy or foggy white color over the stocking section. The next item you're going to need is a spray bottle. You can get a fancy spray bottle at the music store or just go to your local Target or Walmart and pick up a dollar travel spray bottle in the makeup section. It'll do the same job and will still fit perfectly in your case. Why do you need to spray your slide with water when you just put grease on your slide? Well, let's pretend this is a picture of the cross section of your slide. If there's nothing on your slide, you'll be moving metal on metal, and that's a recipe for a damaged slide over time. Adding slide cream as a buffer between the two pieces of metal is great, but that's not really its true purpose. When you spray your slide with water, the slide grease turns the water droplets into little balls of water along the length of the slide. These little beads of water are what the outer slide sits on and makes the slide move easy. This is why you see professional players spray their instrument with water every time they get their instrument out to practice or during the middle of a concert. They are trying to get those little beads of water onto their slide so that it moves quickly and easily for them. Spray the inner slide three or four times on each side. Move the slide back and forth to work the water around in between the two parts of your slide. If you put on the right amount of slide cream and water, your slide should be lightning fast now. Now that you know how to grease your slide, you are ready to change positions when you play and take over the trombone world. Good luck and have fun!